Hey everyone, it's Cypher7 here. I got a few videos for you in the Admiral Schroeder setup and all on this. I had an absolute blast playing this, but about three games in, I realized that the mic input was on the wrong microphone. So, uh, sorry about the sound. I'm going to try critiquing it within the editing bay and make it a little bit better, but um, I'm not expecting much. So, just sorry, but Admiral Schroeder, great ship. Just wish it wasn't in a crate. Let me know your thoughts down below on the Admiral Schroeder and whether or not you're going to be getting it or you're going to be waiting for it to come out in another way. Have a good day, everyone. Peace. So we have the Admiral Schroeder here. It actually is completely out. It is in a fantastic 500 crate with 1% um, drop rate and 1% uh, for the war paint. Let's see, we got a war paint. That's looking, that's look kind of nice. This is... Uh, from what, everything I can see, it's a secondary beast. That's basically what it is. It's you just go in. It's a cruiser. It's a brawling cruiser, and sometimes those work. Sometimes those don't. So um, we'll see. Uh, we have the historical and the war paint. I think we'll try the war paint on here for right now. Um, higher than Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, it's not much. And of course, you're gonna go with secondary gun optimization. You're gonna maximize this up. We have a seeking destroy of destroy two cruisers in a battle that can kind of be more just annoying to get rather than anything. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, two secondary below three, which is perfect. I really wish they would buff that on the end of that. And then of course we have some engine accelerator two, because why not get into battle a little bit quicker? And then you have the sonar one right there, so you can spot some torps early on and dodge them. Oh, let's see, we got 15 seconds on 305s, not bad, eight of them. Secondary, we got three. It looks like those three are right there, right there and right there. So you'll have max six on each side if you have them all on there for a broad side. And then you have secondaries, four seconds, and not bad. It looks like you have AP and H, not bad, not bad. And then 9.39 kilometers, so this is definitely a candidate for a concealment build so that'll be fun and all let's pimp this out let's quickly get this going pop up the sound here uh so with this it's, it's already you can probably run refined diesel too if you're if you're feeling like that more and then you're gonna be running this one to get even more range out of your guns on this one you don't need dispersion because your secondaries are the key and critical ones are here you're gonna run propulsion for a little bit more speed and concealment on this type of ship just due to you want to be able to get your guns into that which with the concealment build now we are looking at a 8.4 kilometers with an 8.41 so basically you only have 0.4 kilometers to cover and you have your main gun or your secondary battery within range of course with secondary overload three you're me getting that a little bit quicker so sometimes you can be able to pop that right in and call it good <laughs> Let's just go with the regular commander for right now. Just kind of test it out. Uh, nothing too crazy on that one because, of course, you could bring out Hipper. You could bring out Sheer for a little bit more tankiness. You could bring out so many really good, powerful, legendary commanders or other commanders for this. So we're just going to go right in the game off our first match in the Admiral Sugar. Hopefully everyone is having a good time. Cheers, everyone. Multi Matador, how's it going? Hey, Wobbly. Waiting for the Louisiana sucks. I'm enjoying my time that I can enjoy my time on Blitz right now. I'm not looking forward to that coming out. I'm not looking forward to it at all coming out. Alright, let's get into game here. First game, we got Fury on the enemy team. Uh, Oliver, okay. Alright. I tried to do the exact same strat that I had with... Uh, I had a French Rupert game that did like 150k. Oh, that was a fun game, but I, I went around, all around D, captured D and came back in and just, I, I still died, but I crushed it. Uh, looking forward a bit, A, rework coming soon, yeah, with the update of 7.0, uh, 7 yeah, I'm looking for that one. Big in Louisiana. Hey, deal for real, how's it going? How is it going? Let me know how you guys like the style of stream too for Wednesdays. I did change it up. Uh, let me know what else I can do. I'll probably pick up some people later. Uh, I basically want to play the Admiral show a few times and then switch over uh, to uh, a few shipyard ships that I don't have on my main account and then switch over to my main account so I can work on my credits because I need those on some shipyard ships. Show them off. So that was the inevitable goal. Enough.
Enemy team captured the area. Looks like Fury already has there, I'm not sure. This one. We got two cruisers down south. I'm not seeing anyone pop out of D, so that means they're going right to C. So, yeah, we're gonna flank in this. We're gonna flank this one. This, 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 this could be stupid or fun. Who knows? We'll find out soon. Just watch my secondaries give me away or something like that. Okay, there's a Monty. There's Plymouth. Doing there, Plymouth. Oh, I think you're running. Yeah, you are running. Hey, Fury, how's it going? Gonna churn. I don't know why that Plymouth left. Enemy team captured the area. Good job. Yeah, launching those torpedoes. Already missed. Nice shot. Yeah, these secondaries are these secondaries are nice. Goodbye. Perfect. Hey, there's a Marlboro here. Uh, taking a little bit too much, but that's another. There we go, got him. Hey, Fury, how's it going? How's it going, buddy? Alright, so, can't really take any more damage here. What we gotta do is we gotta watch out. I've got allies, so I'm gonna fall back over here. See if I can get that. Handle with that. He's moving outward. I think it's gonna happen. Perfect. Worked enough. I don't care. Marata Rasta. We got that. Okay, let's kind of pace ourselves. We got a full health Monty. What I want to do is I want to see that Monty turn in. Probably go up to the line if that works. It looks like they are. I'm gonna slow down here. Okay, we got a Napoli on the other side. Can I? I'm not sure what's happening here. I gotta see if I can pop out just a little bit to see his guns, but I don't want to pop out too much. No, he's waiting for me. He's waiting for me. He's waiting for me. Oh, this is probably gonna hurt just a little bit. Hi, buddy. How's it going? He's gonna spot me no matter what. Just gonna back it up. I, I wasn't here. Don't worry about. Don't, don't worry about making one island save me. Perfect. Island did kind of save me there. <laughs> yeah, this is this is gonna be a fun ship. This is a fun ship. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so what I really want to do? No, I'm gonna be dealing with. Yeah, I don't have much health to worry about. Let's just stay here. Okay, Napoli's on this side. Napoli's on this side. Mon Montana's on that side. They got all caps. Damn it. Stupid or fun, that's my milk. Oh. Luckily, I've got the belt armor to deal with the Napoli secondaries, but it looks like. Our team the area. Okay, perfect. We hit the enemy. No, this is what the anchor could have been now. Ooh! Vermont! You know, sometimes you just have to go forward, right? We're gonna lose if we don't go forward. We're not, you know. Engine boost activated. Playing with Gex, he's from Ice Fleet. Yeah, playing with Gex, he's over there on uh, Flooding. So, oh, perfect. This is a perfect situation. Pop around here, grab the cap, and then just. I'm not gonna say that, I don't know. Fuck, fuck him. Hi, Monty. 
just rip him apart. And of course, he just boosted it. He just got through it. We're on the floor. He's like, I'm having a bad day here. I am not doing okay. Oh yeah, this is fun. Perfect on timing. 116 to start off, and we're getting cast back. But do we have enough? Ooh, Ibuki. Don't die, don't die. Why'd you fire? Don't die. Dick. I think we might lose if Ibuki dies. Ooh, come on, Ibuki. Stay hit, stay hit. You're good, you're good. You don't have to fire, you're fine. Then again, you probably have a range. Probably have a range. Yep, this is what Siegfried, if it was good. No, Siegfried fills a whole different role. Sieg Siegfried's the, the sniper German. I don't want that. No. Uh, I don't think Lady Diamond's bounce on them. It's all the combo. Right there. Okay, Alistair, I see what you're talking about. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. I think Grace is a good one. All right, thank you, Chris. All right. Oh man, damn, that was good. That was a good way to start this. Suck. Sixteen. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Gex also good. Good play on that one. Good, just coming from a backup and just you. You got to pace for yourself with these ships. You do. They don't have the health pool to tank like in the Schlieffen or the Prince of Brick. You have to really monitor yourself and wait yourself. Patience is a virtue. Stop them anywhere by few. But when you do, good lord, it can be fun. So let's go into another game and I'll, I'll let the... Uh, I see we got a few people in here. So three, two, one, go. Brought one point. I know, right? That That is that is a vid right there. That is right there. Perfect. Hey, Justin, how's it going? Yeah, the Aegir, the Aegir now, like, the ship coming in, just made the Aegir, like, not relevant. <laughs> now I see why Alistair was so, so excited about this ship. Okay, so, Hourglass. 2 DDU, so immediately load AP. You don't always want to be running AP off the Bow Thieves uh, with, with your main secondaries. Sometimes you actually just want to be firing HE because at longer range, the... I'm Kikaboo coming for you, and all right. Uh, you want to, you don't have the accuracy on the secondaries, like you do like the, for the Borodino or something like that, which even that doesn't have AP, which that, that'd be hilarious. Um, but no, you don't have the accuracy to really hit those weak spots. So it's just, it's in general for most players, I would say just run HE at longer range. Just that way you can kind of tickle them with a little bit, get a few extra fires. That way your auto secondaries can then trigger even more fires. So, okay. What do we got here? Bottom Agi, bottom Hawk. We got at least well, the bigger question is which which DD did I get? Doing good. How's the ship? I'm enjoying myself, but I kind of figured I would. Um, it's just whether or not stream snipers want to shut you down because this, this is going to be like sleep in line. Which if you get shut out, you're gonna die. Like it's not. You're not gonna have a good time. Go. It definitely has enough time on secondary to this knife, so you don't. On certain ships, you don't even have to aim for weak spots. I feel like sheer on this would be nuts. I don't know about hipper, but sheer would definitely be uh. You generally be running HE against this, so. But there's there's two <laughs> two fires <laughs> from the secondaries. Uh, Amagi aim for just behind the smokestack. Let's see if we can. That's a bunch of good bullpens right there. Not bad. Uh, okay, looks fun. I know, right? But for one percent, I'm like, God damn it, poor gaming. Could you freaking please stop? Nice. Could could you put it in a bundle? Could you? Or put it in a token event where we can get up to about like a 40 to 50 percent off. That'd be nice, right? That'd be that'd be fancy. That'd be fancy and nice. All right. So unfortunately, as much as we've been doing all that, our team has been dying over there. So let's push them back. The one thing I didn't expect this ship to actually—I I kind of like it—is the speed boost. 
Because it's not exactly a fast ship, but you can probably get up there a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Admiral. It looks like you are, in fact, not coming for me in this game. It's going to be a pure meme in rank. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Then again, I'm betting Prince Rupert is pretty similar. I see that. Remember the really good ship you're under. I know, right? Remember the good. Remember the good. I, I, I really think it was a, a perfect shipyard. I know a few people were like, hey, you know, we didn't really get what we wanted, but I'd be like, nah, I think it's done. I think it's plenty. So. The one thing I do kind of enjoy is I don't have to deal with torpedoes. So, right there. Hi, Hawk. Hi, buddy. Let's fire this. Swap out. Yeah. Napoli will be yours. Napoli's a good pickup. I don't always love it, but it's it's something that I, I always respect the ship whenever I run into it. They have just been farming you this entire time here, Hawk. Ow. So what I'm gonna do is a better angle here. He's dead. Yep, swap targets. Get ready to engage squirrely here. I'm hoping for there's a fire. I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm dead here. Nice, nice, nice job. Squirrely right at the last moment. 140. But then again, I think like, what is that? 80% of those bots, so... I don't know. Alright, let's move the guy here. Alright, we got Fury Man, I'm sure. We got, we got, we got this, we got this, yep. Um, probably got my work from last week, this morning. Yeah, yeah, no, some the role Tony got put out. He, you know, everyone's getting back in the, uh, the holidays. Um... I mean, Napoli was cheaper than Yukon. I think the uh, one thing that I, I feel like Wargaming learned from this uh, shipyard, or, or they applied a new lesson to, is they realized that people weren't buying stuff, so they were hoarding. And if you just give people competitive prices, then boom, they they buy it. Um, so that's what I, I, I think that would be the, the main thing that they I think they applied to this shipyard. Because I knew a lot of people with crap load of steel, titanium, copper. They're like, I'm not paying for that. Um, 139.1. Not bad at all, but I got a little bit less bots there. But yeah, okay, so first off and foremost, um, I don't think there's any snipers on right now, but I was like, if, if you get sniped in this ship, I have a feeling you're, you're going to have a bad day. Um, so just make sure I'm having good games right now. But a lot of these ships, you're going to have days that you get barely 20,000 damage and you shut up. It just happens, okay? Just to make sure everyone goes. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, for the ship rotation was great. Something really positive for a change. I know, right? Yeah. So far, I picked up Black Benito Star. I need to pick up some steel from, for Napoli. Yeah, I picked up I picked up a bunch. I picked up Benito. I picked up um, Black Lightning. I picked up Graf Zeppelin. Black Dallas. There's something else I did too. I have a lot of premiums to play, so like, the, the, so whatever premium ship I don't have on a main account, kind of ready-ish or ready enough, especially with the Graf Zeppelin. I, I was like, I, I just don't have the first slot uh, equipment. That's it that I feel like I need for it. But I'll play that stuff on my main account because your boy is broke. Again, I know it's broke. <laughs> Okay. Uh, to be honest, I probably you broke that having no use for it. Yeah, you know, right? It, it gives you a reason to grind those, uh, you know, your bad wanders. Previously, I was like, I don't really give a crap, and now because of this. Ah, uh, Stormio. Where, where are you thinking? Yeah, A or C. What are we, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do something? You, okay, you want to go C? <laughs> okay, we're going C then. Yeah, I got the Cossack out of the shipyard. That's a decent pickup. That's a decent one. It's a very cheap, cheap for what it can do. 
I don't bring it out often, but it is a fun show. So. Uh, I picked up an Napoli, but I'm grinding for Kaba. Wobbly, I don't know why you would do that to yourself. I don't know why you would do that to yourself at all. That was a, a horrible thing to do to yourself. There's a bot. I think maybe I'm just getting on early enough. I'm not getting too many players here. And four. Ooh, we have a an Iowa that's about to experience hell. Napoli secondary artillery you have. Uh, they're actually really good. But you have to learn to love them. Like a mother's love. <laughs> no. Uh, they actually are pretty good. Because they're really good at hitting the decks of destroyers so you can get insane amounts of damage off of them. Yeah. But it, it does take a learning curve. So don't... Don't think you're alone on that one, though. Engine boost activated. Yeah, Napoli can stealth can stealth everything. It's it, it's a strong ship. A lot of people don't don't know about it. It's because there's not many good Napoli drivers out there. Definitely go check out Bob's video on on him. He can play the. She's not bad at me. Both better than me. No, he's running away. He's not gonna. I'm not gonna maximize or use my. There. Yep, exactly, Sam. And is it worth it to learn it? Eh, let's have to find out yourself. Target Not hit. too shabby. What I want to do is see if I can get stuck in between two ships and just go freaking ham on it. See if my secondary is going to annihilate. There we go. Might as well rip and tear into a CV. Just like CV. Come on. The national pastime at this point. I love the I love the sound when the, when it finally sinks up. That was a little low shot on that one. Pushing up. He's all an ass. We can't let him go. I know I should be helping on my team, but uh, I think Stormmail has it. Stormmail probably has it. Or Stormmail dead. Stormmail's dead. Come on, Stormmail. Come on, Citadels to finish. Yeah, that's really I know, I know. Let me let me quickly finish this guy. Fuck shot. Uh, everyone time to just judge. Not that too, yeah, sure was fun. Much fun. You're losing two mates fast? Ah uh, yeah. Sometimes. And I'm losing health fast, and that that was uh, that was a fun time. Uh, it's really, what do we got on that one? Is that a Napoli? Oh, it is. A, oh, it's Torpo! Oh, hi, Torpo. How's it going? So, um, it's time to... Oh, uh, yeah. It's time to... Oh, yeah, that is an accuracy. That German accuracy. When you don't have precise aim. Oh, come on, Thorpo. Let's brawl! Honest, good, American brawl. Don't hit the belt there, dude. Don't hit the belt there. That's just asking for trouble. Dodge. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
he looks like he didn't launch. This is fun. And here, here's the problem is now I, I have a perfect sniper in back. I got I got Swirly Dan with me. And I was definitely gonna hurt, but he's <laughs> walking right into my range and I got my heal coming off. Not a not a good choice, bud. Not a good choice, bud. Now the big question is where is that dang uh DD? Are they? Are they? And then now it's time. Oh, gotta kill this bugger. Get out of my cap, you idiot. Go. There we go. All I have to do is reset it and not die. <laughs> no, that's not going to be it. Bro, just threw. I like. Hey, come on! I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I could I could I couldn't be going three for three in this good of a, of a stream. Come on. I was like, yeah. James Joyce, yeah, I know, right? Well, it's how it goes sometimes. I get a little too uh, bloodthirsty to go after those those things, but not bad, not bad at all.